Welcome back, guys, to Backyard Science. All right, guys, welcome back to Backyard Science. Today, we are doing th five excellent egg experiments, and they're gonna blow your mind. So, let's get to it. For this experiment, you'll need some water, along with three cups. And a napkin, because, you know, we don't want this place messy. It's our laboratory. Symmetrical three cups. And did you know, fun fact, one single egg contains one cell. Fun fact, yeah, okay. All right, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna fill up this cup all the way with water. And then the second one I'm gonna do all the way up too. And then the last one, you want to do only halfway. Yeah, the last half, one. right there. Last one's halfway. So, next up, we're going to take our salt and we're just going to load those up with salt. Morton salt, mineral salt. This one, none. This one. Make it real salty. Dude, you're going to kill it. Kill the boy. Now, Beck will be loading it up. And we will be using a, a stick because we live in the trees. Yeah. Tree we house. like to keep it. Tree. Nature-y, tree-y, organic-y in our but science the, laboratory. Look at all the salt swishing around. All right, we have all of our salt in. So now it's time to drink it, right? Oh my God! <laughs> I just let it touch my lip. That was so salty. Okay. Right. It okay. was salty like trip. Oh yeah. Next we need our, our eggs. eggs and you want your fresh eggs in the shell you need three of them three cups simple mm -hmm. all right so we have our no salt okay. full with salt and half with salt so we are going to drop one egg in and as you can see it sinks now trip, <laughs> dude chill now this one it shall float third one this one shall float but to our predict the cool part so now we are gonna get our water and pour it about even with the rest and watch the magic happen but this you gotta be like really slow and careful all right here we go super slow super slow no okay gotta wait for the water to stop jiggling Okay, so as you can see, this was really cool because it was it was floating. And it stayed in the middle. It stayed in the middle. Revolutions. Civilizations. Anyway, that was a really cool experiment. That's kind On of to cheap. number two. <laughs> Alright guys, this is our second second experiment. And Viper Videos. Hey, he, he showed jo up. He joined us last video. Yeah. He's here again. So and he's link be helping us. Yeah. Link, link in the description. description. So in this video we'll be needing a container. Rubbing container. Alcohol yes. and, and an egg. one is this hard boiled or no? No, just no, one fresh egg. Regular. Yeah. So say you're like in the woods and you need to cook food. You're out of food. You what do you food. do? You, you and you just have like you find a, a chicken, a container half full of eggs, and you're starving. What do you do? You cook it this way. So you are going to crack the egg in your um container. Okay, so we've cracked our egg, and now we are going to pull in, uh, pour in our seventy percent alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Yes. Egg. And you're, yeah, just like, <gasps> oh gosh. <gasps> just like do it faster. You just gotta, there we go. And then you're just gonna fill it like so it's covering up the egg. So we mixed it up a little bit, and after waiting for a little while, this egg is gonna be perfectly cooked and ready to eat. So edible. We'll come back and show you guys. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and we are going to pour this into this boat and see what happened to it. So let's get to it. It's like halfway cooked. Um, I mean, in a survival situation, I'd be thankful because like this is, I mean, it's, a, it's an egg. It's a cooked egg. Yes, so. it would keep you alive. That's for sure. Yep. So anyone want to try it? No. No. He's going to try it. I'll turn into like a zombie or Tastes like an egg. It just tastes like rubbing alcohol. rubbing alcohol. So it'll keep you alive. Maybe get a little drunk, but it'll keep you alive. So 
On to experiment three? Yeah, three. Three. Now for our next and third experiment, we will be doing the rubber egg, or as some people like to call it, the naked egg. So for this one, we'll be needing two eggs. Distilled uh, vinegar. Whatever that is. And what then uh, two... What? what? The... Oh my god, those are cockroaches! Hi, I do. Dude! Cockroaches! Oh my gosh, look at this! I don't There's cockroaches in there! Two... Whole cockroaches. It's magic. Okay, so now we will be taking two our eggs. eggs and putting it in the jar a dough. Fill it about halfway, I think, so it covers the egg. Delicious. I have you, nothing. You gotta let it. That. You gotta let it sit for 24 hours straight, and let's see what happens when 24 hours passes by. Starting now. All right, so we were supposed to soak these eggs for 24 hours. We've soaked them for five, five days. days. So they're gonna be really I, good. I got a haircut and everything. We're gonna be inspecting these and see how they look. So we're gonna pick them up. And like we said earlier in the video, they're gonna be very bouncy, but we have to be careful because we're gonna be using these for experiment four. So we wanna, whoa. Whoa. Mine Whoa! Is weird. Remember look at this? Well, I accidentally dropped one, and I didn't think it cracked that much. But look at that! Now it shows how much I really cracked it. Okay, okay ready? 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 Look, watch this. I dropped it from this high. Do you see that? Mine, don't, right? don't drop it. Look at that. Well, that was is jiggly. It was fun to do, but that ruined it. Like I said, Fat. I said I wouldn't ruin it. And like, if and you want to have like a prank war, just chuck this at somebody. I ruined it. Sleep. Just for like extra doing, we made another rubber egg since um, I broke the other one. Somebody. Yeah. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not going to drop it as high as I did. The shell is like completely gone, but like it's still visible. But somehow. like, it's also it's like, like thinned it out. Like, stick your foam light through it. It's Whoa. like, you can see, it's like, look at that. That's crazy. All right, so that was really cool, but I broke it. I broke the egg. Said I would. Our next experiment. Bro. We are going to be using another. I rubber, broke it. Rubber eggs, and we're gonna take some corn syrup. So we're gonna pour our corn syrup in here, and this egg is gonna shrink down almost half its size. Oh, my. the amazing shrinking egg. Let's see if it works. What is that? We find something weird up there. I think we need to like take these. Wait, is that a creature in there? No, that's a leaf hole. Oh, now we wait 24 hours and what? it should be small. It's soaked for 24 hours and it hasn't gotten too small, but as you can tell, it it's has, definitely gotten yeah, smaller. When we put it in, it didn't sink all the way, so we it's had like, to put a spoon down and bend like, it so it could hold it down. So we're gonna take it out. This oh, egg what? has been through a lot. It's been soaked in vinegar for five days and soaked in um, corn syrup. Corn syrup? day. Yeah, so for a day. It's gotten a whole lot smaller, as you can see. So like, if you wanna make like big eggs or like deviled eggs for like a party, you can make them real big. Or if you're like, I don't know why you're a weirdo and you wanna make tiny eggs, you can do that too, so. No, don't do that, don't do that. Okay, it's so all shriveled up and like soggy. It looks like a raisin. This are oh, it's hard. Look at it. Watch it. Ready? Watch. Anyway, this is a really cool experiment. Now on to our fifth and final experiment. And you're going to love this. We've saved it best for last. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, right, let's get to it. All right, guys. For our grand finale, what we're going to be doing is the fire egg. This is a really cool experiment. So, let's get to it. You need some... Uh, you need just some napkins and you need to rip like a strand off like this and just like twist, twist it. it up. That's gonna be like our fire starter. We need like a little milk, old fashioned milk bottle. And we're gonna be needing uh, a lighter. lighter. There we go. Okay. And a egg, boiled egg. Eggs. 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 Boiled egg. And it has to be peeled. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna light your piece of paper on fire. The flame of paper. <laughs> Drop it in, take your egg, place it on top, and then the magic happens on the Get it real quick. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! 
is sucking the egg in. This worked better than the one we did earlier. We tried it earlier. Look oh. at it, it's like shaving the egg. Uh, look at it! This is crazy. Anyway, it, that was really cool. It, it comes it, like, out. sucked it in to the bottle. And look, you can't get it out. Oh, well, it. if we did it correctly, it kind of shaved the egg like the sides. But if we did it correctly, it would be perfect and it wouldn't be able to come out at all. Really good in experiment. Really tasty. So, hopefully it works. It's working. It's working. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, I think we, we did it right, guys. We did it! Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It has to go on by itself. It'll go. It'll go. Come on. Uh, went out. Run, Forrest, run. It went out. It went out. All right, so. So, you get the point. You get the point. Anyway. But the thing is, look at this. It doesn't come back out. You can like turn it and like shake it all you want. It's not gonna come out. Pretty much the um heat from the napkin and the Creates fire suction, it, and so it can slip through this small space, smaller than the egg. So we made an egg fit through a small space that's smaller than the egg. How about that? I'm not actually sure how we're gonna get this out. Like I. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and leave a like. And for future ideas for videos, leave a comment. And yep, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time on, on Backyard, Backyard Science. Science.